Today I'm going to demonstrate Blender test performance on a Silicon Graphics Indigo 2 R10000 machine equipped with a Max Impact graphics card with 1 megabyte of TRAM. So I'm going to open up Blender. The first test that I'm going to conduct is Blender 2.44 followed by a test using Blender 2.45 to show how these different versions of Blender perform differently on Silicon Graphics machines. And the test scene that I'm going to be using for the test is test.blend. So I'm going to start off with Blender 2.44. And I'm going to find test.blend. And open the file up. As far as settings go, I'm not going to mess with any of the settings as this machine only has one CPU equipped, so I'll be using one thread. So I'm going to hit F12. Okay, so that scene took 20 minutes and 13 seconds and 97 split seconds to render on this machine. This machine is equipped with a MIPS R10000 CPU running at 195 megahertz. So let's move on to Blender 2.45. And again, I'm going to open up test.blend. And again, I'm going to hit F12. Okay, so that scene rendered in 22 minutes, 18 seconds and 71 split seconds. This is actually quite a bit slower than the render time achieved in Blender version 2.44. So if you want to render using Blender on an SGI machine, I'd recommend using Blender version 2.44 rather than 2.45. The comparison that I'm going to make with the other machines will be this Blender test result, as the results that I've published have all been rendered in version 2.45. So this machine rendered in 22 minutes, 18 seconds and 71 split seconds. That will be the time that I compare to the various other SGI machines that I've tested. This is how this machine performed as far as the Blender test results are concerned. The O2 R12000 machine running at 400 megahertz is roughly twice the speed of this machine running at 195 megahertz. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.